you know, tough night. We look like a team that's missing a lot of a lot of offensive power um, and depth. And um, I thought our guys, from a game plan standpoint, really really tried to do what we wanted in that first half. Um, you know, to keep them to 45, to be down eight, shooting 30 percent. Uh, I thought that the game plan, the execution of the game plan defensively was solid. Uh, but if you're shooting 30 percent for the game, it's going to be hard. It's going to be hard to win. And, and it, you know, it, it caught up to us uh, in the second half. It just, you know, they got going a little bit. They got going in the pick and rolls and we couldn't match um, with our offense. OK. Uh, we'll jump into questions now. First question from Chris Kirshner. Um, how challenging would you say it's been this season for you to find consistent offense when Trey is either out or sitting on the bench? Well, I think consistency in general, uh, if you just use the word, is probably where you start. Uh, the lack of consistency, um, you know, Trey, with Trey, without Trey, um, you know, we're, we're taking hits down the line. And so it's hard to add consistency when there isn't a consistent um, consistency with regards to our, our personnel. Um, you know, that's the challenge. And, and what it does is it affects, it affects everyone down the line. And so your, your reserves are playing with a different group pretty much every game. You know, tonight we move Rondo into the starting lineup. And so BG is playing now with different guys than uh, that those are the guys Rondo's trying to get used to playing with. And so it, it's um, – that's really the challenge. I talked to you guys earlier before we started, and I said, you know, the key for me will always be availability. Availability is the most important thing you can refer to when you're speaking about any sport because uh, that gives you the options. That gives you the consistency. That gives you the, the confidence in your group. And right now it's, it's that next man mentality. we got to figure out who can step up. And tonight, obviously, we saw Tony Snell – uh, show us what he's capable of doing now that he's getting healthy and we were able to get him some minutes. And so there's a confidence in uh, seeing what Tony can do and adding him to the mix. Sarah Spencer. Hey, Lloyd. Um, how much did Rudy Gobert kind of frustrate you guys um, in the paint tonight? Yeah, I mean, obviously, he, he was a big impact on uh, things down in the paint, um, specifically with Clint. Uh, you know, I'm trying to help Clint and, and just letting him know, like, you know, it, with guys like that, such as yourself, you got to go right at him. You, you can't go and, and then make it uh, a game where he can be effective, where he's, he's using his length and using his positioning. Uh, you really have to attack his body and attack him with momentum and pace. But that, I mean, he's a defensive player of the year. He, he's a handful for anybody and every team. Uh, so we had to find ways. And I thought we had an opportunity at the end of the second quarter, I believe, where John hits a three and then hits a pull up because we're able to pull him away from the basket and try and punish him that way. Brad Rowland. You said a little bit about it, but what did you make of the overall shot quality? Obviously, shots not falling, but were you were you okay with the shots that you got in this game? Well, yeah, I mean, you, you know, we talked about it before, and I said that, you know, these guys were the best team we've played thus far um, because of their chemistry. And I think when you have Rudy Gobert in the paint, you know, they're going to run you off the three-point line for the most part, and they're going to put you into a position where you're shooting long twos, uh, mid-range. And if you are getting downhill, Rudy Gobert is there. So... You know, it's a matter of can we make some shots, of which obviously tonight we did it, and can we put pressure downhill to, to get something easy or get to the free throw line, and, and we didn't do much of that either. So uh, it's one thing, with Rudy, but I think they understand how to defend with him being back there to make it tough for you to get rhythm shots. Any additional questions? There are no hands up at the present time. All right, Coach, I think we are good to go. Thank you. All right, thank you.